Oh yeah. And get him ready for dinner. So remember that blue runner we kept? Simon put him out on a little teeny reel. And he's getting dumped. Oh my god. Dude, that thing's jumping. Dude, I don't know. I didn't let him eat it at all. Did that hook him right? Yeah. We got him on 30, no, 20 pound braid. 15. 15 pound braid. But he's got heavy leader. He's putting it out there because there's been some kingfish around. But it looked like you hooked the shark. Merch shout out. Janto gear. Simon's fish is in the trough way down there. But he's not getting spooled. He stopped him. This must be a manageable fish, but he looked pretty big when he jumped. We're going down the beach. Going down the beach. Oh, there he is right there in the trough. We gotta catch up to Simon. Come on, Simon, turn him around. We wanna go the other way. Big fish. Either when he's gonna do it to me, or we're gonna go. Oh yeah. There he is, he's right there, dude. Just saw him pop up. See that tail kicking right there? All right, we're gonna go down for a tail grab on this thing. Come on, buddy. It's right here. All right, I got him tight right here on the 130. Toothy critter. All right, Simon, can you get a tail? No, you ain't going back. You're popping off. There we go. You want to just hold him right here and we'll take the hook out? That's good. Go like this. There you go. There you go. Simon's got him. Here, Simon, actually, you just put your weight on him so he can't move. Okay. Hold him down. You can just, yeah. Like, don't let his head move. I don't want his head turning. Okay, got it. Got him? All right. Hook came right out. Look at that. Woo! Not the kingfish we were looking for, but pretty cool. Here, let me get a sideways thing. Look at all that bait out there. We're about to bust out the zig jig. Let's get him. All right, we're all tied up. We got bait out there. 10 pound mono, I mean 10 pound braid. There it goes. Oh, he's on it. Something's on it. Ooh, I might have shook him off the hook. Might have shook him off the hook. Oh, we still got him. We still got him. Oh, prime shark bait right there. Little ladyfish. He gone. Let's go again. Two casts in a row. There we go. We hit something. A little bit of a better fish, too. We got him. We got him. got weed on it too. Uh-oh. Didn't it really jump? Did you see it? I didn't see it on the camera. You got a beautiful east uh, sunrise, sunset. Dude, this thing's heavy. I know it's got seaweed on it. But it's bigger than that last little lady fish. What do we got? What do we got? I don't know. It feels like it may actually be sad. Oh, um, yeah. Mackerel? No, flip it. 
Spanish mackerels. Mackerel! That's how you hook them. That's holy moly! It's actually... We doing a catch and cook? Catch and cooks. That's dinner right there. Spanish mackerel hooked in the tummy. We're gonna go ahead and bleed them out and get them ready for dinner. All right, we just popped his throat with the pliers. And that'll bleed them out a little bit. Get that meat a lot better. So that is going to be our dinner right there. Beautiful Spanish mackerel. Mackerels! Going deep again. Got that mackerel for dinner. Oh, he's on, he's on. Dude, these kind of lures this time of year, so much fun. Because everything eats them. Anything that's out there eating little fish, bluefish, mackerel, ladyfish, jacks. I mean, snook definitely will eat them. Anything will eat them. Oh, Uh oh. Dude, get, I just got shark. Just get shark. You see that boil out there? Yeah. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Get him. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh god. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that was sick. You can't catch it. He's gone. Kind of sad. <laughs> I lost my lure. Uh. Oh, mega chew. We just gotta get him in with more sharks. No playing with them. Oh, I pulled the hook. <laughs> Probably a little too fast. Oh, there he is. Insta-chew. Insta-chew is right. Where's Captain Mac Bud for these mackerel? I don't know, man. The mackerels are on their way. This doesn't feel like a mackerel. Jackfish? I don't know. Little blue runner. There's your shark bait. Pliers are a must. Get off. All right. That's not quite big enough. That's what they're out there eating though. Little last man has pilchards. Rainbow Little pilchards. Jack of a different species. Little baby Jack Ravel. It is no wonder that shark was out here in like two seconds. So all we're gonna do with this fish, guys, we're just gonna stake it. So we're gonna go right behind the pectoral fin and go straight through. And then we're also gonna cut the tail off. Go straight through there. And next we're gonna do stakes about that wide, maybe about an inch and a half wide. And then I'm actually gonna get rid of the little tail section too. So I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, five nice stakes. I'll go ahead and cut the guts out of there, or they just fall out really. And that is what we're gonna go ahead and take up to the kitchen. So we are going for simplicity here. We got our mackerel right here in the bag still. They're all cleaned off. We just kind of staked them, the bone is in them. We're gonna add some of this soy sauce in the bag and get some uh, oil, some coconut oil heating up in this pan. Got our oil nice and hot, our chunks of mackerel. We're gonna go ahead and drop them right into the oil.
So these are cooking now. We got our one little mackerel. We chunked them into five pieces that we're gonna eat. And one of the reasons I like doing this is because it is so simple. We don't have to take any scales off. We don't have to skin them. Uh, all you do is just stake them like this, put them in there. We're gonna wait a couple minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and flip them over. There we go, we just did it for a couple minutes on each side. A cool thing about doing it like this, uh, the skin has a lot of flavors in it and also the bone marrow and stuff has a lot of flavors. It's almost like a gelatin in there and that all gets cooked out into the fish. It's really good. Uh, mackerel, I do not freeze. Great fish, but I would say eat it either the first, second, or maybe even third day you catch it. Other than that, awesome, white, flaky meat. I would put this up against any other good fish, kind of hard with one hand. But that's what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and catch you guys in the next video.